what's up guys Vegas Romaniac as you can see my garage is clean and that's a great thing uh, my trailer tomorrow is gonna go for a quick ride I have a couple of stickers over here Mr. Duff Factor already sent me his uh, I have the Rebel Alliance over here from uh, Mini Stop so uh, every time I'm gonna meet up one of you guys I'm gonna slap the sticker on this trailer um, but um, there is something that I want to show you today I'm gonna just take this block, this is how I make it stop. Um, I want to show you how light this trailer is. Uh, one of the reasons that I built this trailer is because it needed to be very, very light. And uh, I'm going to give you an example how, how light this thing is. I'm gonna actually weight it for you. So we're gonna be able to find out exactly how heavy it was. So as you can see, it's very, very light as far as like coming out. I have a bunch of stuff around the uh, the garage over there so but I'm going to wait it because I am dying to see how light this thing really is now this is a camper as you can see I'm I'm moving it like it's nothing so this is a full-blown camper where I could actually camp in it and uh, initially this Harbor Freight trailer it's 260 pounds without the plywood piece and without the wheel and without the uh, guiding wheel in the front. So this last time I weighted it, it was a little bit over 300 pounds. It was 305 pounds. So with this built on it, send your bets in how heavy it is because I'm going to weight it right now. Now, this is not going to be 100% accurate. I'm just going to use a household uh, scale. And how I'm going to do it okay so we're ready to weight this trailer first let's test the scale I'm 166 pounds 170 uh, with a helmet on I'm 175 so this is fairly accurate well, I'm not gonna be hundred percent but I just want to get an idea so I'm gonna lift the front put it on the scale and it's pushing at the uh, as you can see over there, a little bit over 90, so 90 pounds. And then go over. Let's see. So 225 pounds. That's, I don't know how good you could see. I'm gonna try to turn the camera around. Oops, I touched the trigger. 225 pounds on this wheel. And I'm going to wait the other one just to make sure it's balanced. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, pretty wild. So we're going to ride 225. 225. And the other wheel should be approximately 225. Hopefully it's balanced good enough. I'm expecting it to be 225. So this is the other wheel. Just a little bit of a transition over. There it is. So on this one, uh, this side it seems to be a little bit heavier. It's 235 pounds. So I'm sorry the scale is upside down, but it's 235 on this side. So maybe it's a little bit heavier on one side. That's not a major problem whatsoever. So 235. So let's do the math, right? We have 0, 4, 6 with 9, 5. And then we have 505 pounds. So this trailer is 505, 550 pounds, I'm sorry, 550 pounds. So it was 305 pounds before. So this entire build, this entire build weighs 245 pounds. So 200, 245 pounds. And that's pretty amazing because if you think about it, 
This is a camper. Now, yes, it's going to have a window over here. So it's going to add a little bit more, but this is not going to change too much. So it's going to be under 300 pounds just to build, under 600 pounds the entire trailer. And uh, that was one of the purposes that I built it. I want it to be light, and it's fairly, fairly strong. So I, I would hide inside here uh, from a from a bear with a big shotgun in my hand. I would, I would definitely hide over here, or from like a mountain lion. This is, this is pretty tough, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm very, very impressed how light this thing is. I had two bikes over here before, so I had two bikes over here before, which I was able to, to haul with no problem whatsoever, and each bike was like 300 pounds. So with my bike in, and uh, with my bike in, uh, this is uh, this is gonna work out really really well. Uh, just 300 pounds of my bike and the trailer, so I'm I'm in specs as far as the weight goes. So that's this is very very good news. Yeah, this is my stop. That little bolt is my stop for my wheel. But uh, as you can see, how easy it is to just slide it in the garage, just to move it from one side to another. This is why I built it. That was the purpose of it. Uh, I could have buy one for three, four, five, six thousand dollars, yes, but that car would not be able to pull it. So this loaded with a mattress, loaded with a bike, with all the weight that it has on it, it's still under a thousand pounds with the bike on it. It's still a lot under a thousand pounds, and uh, that makes such a huge difference because six hundred plus three hundred. There's 900 plus some little things here and there, it's going to be a thousand pounds. That car will be able to pull a thousand pounds, it's a two thousand pound car, versus a pop-up camper which is 1200 pounds just by itself. Not to mention you can't put a bike on it, and that's just the basic minimum. As soon as you start adding stuff to it, it's going to add up more, so this trailer could have been maybe 50 pounds lighter, yes, if I would use this different kind of a material to cover it in. But uh, so far I am very, very happy with its weight. Uh, I'm, I'm actually very, very pleased with its weight. A couple of little things here and there I have to do. I have to move these lights more towards the back so they will be more visible. Uh, so these will just be bolted more towards the back. But everything else is just exactly as I wanted it. So I am very, very happy uh, so far. And not to mention a lot of people say, hey, you could just go and buy one for $800, $1,000, you know, uh, something that you could just repair. Here's the deal. The trailer I already had. Couldn't sell. It's mine. I had. So this shell cost me like $250, maybe $300 to build. And I built it to what I needed. It fits that bike. It can fit another one if I really want to. But it's built to what I needed. So... I know how fuel efficient is on the highway, I was trying to keep it as pointy as possible, that's why it's not boxy on this side, so I want it to be fuel efficient. As you can see, it has a certain flow to it, so the car is as tall as here, and then it has a certain flow to it, so the air will go this way and go around and then over. So it feels good on a highway, I'm not really going at high speed, so that was the purpose that this uh, trailer was built, and um, it had to be light. It had to fit a queen size mattress so two people can, can sleep in it. It had to be able to um, be pulled by that car. And I could have not get all those in one trailer if I had bought it. So can I fit a bike? Yes. Can I sleep in it? Yes. Can I, can I sleep two people in it and take the bike out while I'm sleeping? Yes. Um, can it be pulled by that car? Yes. Can it fit in the garage, which was like another thing? Yes. So. I know it's ugly, only a father can love, but uh, so far this is a uh, what I call a successful project. So thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, share my video if you like it, uh, if you think it's crazy share it anyways.